हरे ओ कमलपत्राक्ष पुण्यश्रवणकर्तन वासुदेव जगद्योनि नौमि नारायण हरि कृष्णा वासुदेवाय हर ये परमात्मने प्रणतक्लेशनाशाय गोविंदय नमो नम वंदे श्रीराधिका देवी बृंदारण्य विहारिणी यृपा विना कोपी न कृष्ण ज्ञातमर्हति पुंजीभूत प्रेम गोपांगना मूर्तिभूत भागधेय यदूना एक भूत गुप्त श्रुतीना श्यामी भूत ब्रह्म मे सन्नीधत्ता व्यास वशिष्ठनता शक्ते पौत्रमकलमशम परासरात्मज वंदे सुखता तपो निधि सर्वेदार्धतत्व वेदार्ध प्रतिदक पुराण सार सर्व कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु वासुदेव सो नाउ 
we have to certain extent we have observed how the social and political situation is there in this land So this, <coughs> the government in the center of India, I mean Bharat, and which is under the rule of Dhritarashtra, the blind king, <laughs> also he was <coughs> even though Bhishma was there and uh, elders are there but Dhritarashtra always is not obedient to them and uh, he never cares to follow their advice so he is influenced by Shekuni and also he is interested to earn personal money. So therefore he made some wicked plans uh, in the administration. And how to extract the <coughs> taxation, money through taxation and all these things from all the common people. And uh, a part of this money goes to his personal account and remaining part will be kept in the state account. <laughs> So, similar situation with these other kingdoms because when the emperor himself is like this, so automatically this is like with others. So, this Kamsa also, he is also very greedy and very wicked. And therefore, just like Dhritarashtra, this fellow also, he doesn't like that the people in the villages, so they are, he doesn't like that they are free from taxation and they are given freedom, so this they don't like. So therefore, he has, he made a structure of the government in such a manner that such people with such ideas are appointed as the officers in all the departments. And this Casey, as I told you yesterday, this Casey fellow is also, who is a cousin of uh, Kamsa, he has also power and therefore Kamsa cannot completely avoid him because he is also powerful. So therefore, Kamsa appointed him as a, as a chief of 
on department like uh, taxation all this <laughs> And moreover, this Casey has he, he is in contact with there is one fellow called Munda Kausika. He is a tantric. Uh, he is very much. Uh, um, he has powers, tantric powers, and he has. He can make this uh, type of rituals, and he he can create also the uh, elemental uh, type of things, and he has such powers. He attained from his guru. Монта Каусика. Монта Каусика, который является черным магом, и он тоже проводит всякие ритуалы, продолжает эти все неправильные дела, чтобы на каких-то простых уровнях выманивать у людей налоги и так далее. So this Монта Каусика uh, he his original place is Nepal. And so from Nepal he he make, he came to this area because his guru is Chanda Kausika, who is a very powerful fellow in this. And this Chanda Kausika is the royal guru for Jarasandha. I, the other day I told you Jarasandha is a very mighty fellow who, who imprisons many uh, princes. And uh, so, so this fellow's guru is Chanda Kausika. So he is the he is the guru to the father of Jarasandha himself. <laughs> so therefore, <coughs> their their way of uh, activity is mainly using all these uh, uh, witchcraft mm -hmm. and all these powers. So, this Kamsa, Kamsa is the son-in-law of Jarasandha. Jarasandha has two daughters and these two daughters were married to Kamsa. But Jarasandha is not uh, uh, such a, he is very magnanimous and, and majestic, not like Kamsa. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he doesn't, uh, he is not afraid of uh, Dhritarashtra, he is not afraid of anybody because he himself is powerful with all his uh, witchcraft and all his army and also he has the army of these, uh, uh, <coughs> these astral entities also. He built an army of astral entities, that means every day, truly, he, he every day kills one of these princes to give Bali and then he holds this astral body of these fellows and with this astral body 
bodies of these fellows, he made an army, Jarasandha. So he has this army also, which with other other people cannot fight with him. So Jarasandha does not like uh, these type of activities of uh, uh, Kamsa because he comes out teasing the village people and uh, and also how he is doing with the uh, with the maintenance of cows and agriculture and all these so resources. In these mean activities, Jarasandha does not like. At the same time, Jarasandha does not believe or accept that uh, the Lord uh, Consciousness, is, the Lord Higher Lord is uh, get, going to incarnate in uh, through uh, Vasudeva and Devaki and all these things. He says it is all myth because he feels he is the only person who can be the emperor of the whole land. <laughs> and the guru of Jarasandha is Chandakausika also. He he is a uh, uh, very well very well uh, uh, he was since his, his from his gurus he is trained in all the Vedas but he mainly took up the Atharva Veda to apply this to the witchcraft that is main mm-hmm. activity of this Chandakausika. <laughs> So what is happening in this area, in the Mathura and in this area is that this Kesi and Kamsa, Kamsa he, what he did is that he he went he he went to he wanted to control all these villages around the Braja and control over the resources and the cows and the and the all the agriculture products and all these things. So he forced the people that a part of this is to be paid to the government. That means to him, his cows, because there are an enormous number of cows. So animal husbandry is very much so dairy products and all these things and all these villages there is, there is no such uh, thing like selling of this all is sharing and distribution mm-hmm. so it is not commercial mm-hmm. but kamsa is, mind is commercial <laughs> So this Nandagopa, who is the chief of all these uh, uh, villages and all this, this Nandagopa is not from a royal family, but he is given this responsibility by Vasudeva to make the people live in such a manner that they work together and they can share all the resources 
and the, all this uh, like agricultural uh, products and all dairy products so all the people they distribute among themselves they share so therefore there is no necessity somebody has to sell milk somebody has to sell uh, the food grains so everybody they can have their their part of this so it is like a wonderful uh, social structure they have built and comes out doesn't like this So therefore, Kamsa sends his uh, his his force forces means the controllers to go into these villages and force the people that they have to send a part of their cows to Mathura to the government and a part of their food grains and part part of their produces and all. there there is a by force. they bring them they collect them and bring them and from this what he does is uh, not directly to into government account some part of it should go to his account and <laughs> divide into the government account <laughs> so what KC does is so KC is given this responsibility so from all this KC he takes a part of this before it, it is sent to Kamsa he takes his part and in this part a part goes to uh, Dhritarashtra so this is, this is how all this is going on <laughs> so therefore vasudeva uh, <coughs> he has instructed even though he is in the prison but but the royal prison so visitors can um, come to see them so secretly the disciples of vasudeva come and, and take the instruction to nanda gopa and he said in all the villages everybody should be ready to resist and if necessary to fight out these fellows and not to hand over the cows not to pay anything to them so to start resisting послание до завета того, что не надо отдавать это, все свои как бы, вещи, все, все свое, и нужно быть готовыми к сопротивлению, то есть нужно быть готовыми э, защитить свое имущество и обучаться этому. So in Mathura, there are uh, <coughs> the goshalas where the cows are gathered. So like this, there are the uh, goshalas of the government of Kamsa, and there are personal goshalas again. And K C has his personal goshalas like this. They are maintaining these cows, which are forcibly brought from from the, from Raja and Vrindavan, all these places. these these cows are kept 
in the Gosalas, and some of them, each of these fellows, they will have their own Gosalas, they maintain. And there is this, this Vrindavan and this Vraja uh, area, there is a forest area and in this forest you have big trees and a part of this is also it is developed into a garden where you have a garden for fruits and flowers and these gardens and father of Kamsa, the Ugrasena, so he has developed all these gardens uh, and where the cows also can be freely kept there. So when he was imprisoned, then Kamsa made this, and this garden, a big garden is there called Madhuvan. Madhuvan is the name of this big garden near Ma Madhuvan, Madhu, Madhuvan. One, vana, vana means garden, it is Madhu, it is called Madhuvan because there was a, uh, a few generations before, there was an invader who, who came, intruded into India, is Bharat. And he came and settled there in this place. His name was Madhu. And he was killing the people who are passing through this forest and eating their flesh and all this, this fellow. So finally he was killed and this was transformed into a peaceful place by the forefathers of, of Vasudeva. And since then it is called Madhuvan. So, Kamsa has appointed uh, many people uh, to maintain this cows in the Madhavan and then, but Kamsa always a greedy fellow, he doesn't uh, properly pay these people because he appoints people and he, they have to work for him and he doesn't pay them for their requirements. Only by, because of the fear they work, they have to work with him because of fear mm -hmm. and they are obliged to work for him. He pays a little and sometimes does not pay and get his work done. So these people cannot be loyal to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, he appoints people to take care of the cows in the gosalas and to work in the fields and all this by their work, what is uh, received, he is so greedy, he gets all these things, a part of it but personally also. But when he has to pay these people or take care of these people and their families, he doesn't care for that. So that is the wicked type of fellow, this Kamsa. 
за коровами следить в коровниках, за, на полях работать. Но он вообще он забирал все, что там вырастало, а когда доходило дело ему платить, он им не платил, или платил совсем мало. Настолько жалко. So therefore, naturally, these fellows, what they do is some part of the milk of, and all these resources, secretly they will make, they will sell and they will have their money from this. So they have, they, for their survival, they do that. And also the money which is uh, which is being given from the uh, from the government treasury to maintain the cows and the garden, from this money, some part of money they will use for for their own personal things because he doesn't pay directly. So therefore, the cows are not properly fed because uh, part of money is service for this. But KC is not like that. KC also has uh, his part of uh, this, uh, this cow go salas and uh, all these things. But KC, he takes care of the people who are working and he looks after their requirements. So, therefore, there are they are not like these fellows. And uh, those who are appointed by KC, in these also, uh, once again, there are uh, they are divided into two type two fellows because one part, some of them, they even though uh, KC pays them, but still they want to make their own profit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So in in this type of in this type of activity, what they did is that the maximum milk which is taken from the cow, they 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 do not let the calves, the children of the cow, to have milk, and they take all the milk away. <laughs> because they want to make more money because a part of this he, they can hide and take it so naturally these calves the young the, uh, these the, these things because they are not properly, uh, they are not allowed to have the milk of their mothers, so they die. And what they did is, when they are died, when they are dead, to take the inside these things and then fill it with some cotton and, and these things and keep it as if they are alive and keep them before the cows. <laughs> <laughs> so gradually this is increasing. So the these fellows working uh, under uh, uh, Kamsa and some of those fellows working under KC. So everybody they want to make their own 
money they are on profit so as a result all this is happening and in madhavan madhavan is a very big area so everybody has his own place and they are doing all this small practice so one day what happened is that there was a dispute between these groups of fellows naturally it happens and they were abusing each other says that you are the fellows who are responsible to kill this uh, cow, calves and all these things so we will um, go and inform our king and the other fellows says oh, we know what you are also doing like this discussions and then they started to hit each other with the you ha- they have all the cowherd fellows they have sticks of bamboo in their hands so they started to fight with this <laughs> So, so there is a bloodshed. Mm-hmm. So when they are fighting and injuries and bloodshed. <laughs> so suddenly a new person came and so this person appeared very brilliant he is also dressed like a cowherd person with a with a bamboo stick in his hand and suddenly he came in between and said he told all of them to stop this and then he has seen that these fellows are injured and their wives uh, children are also very much uh, they are scared by this everybody they are with their families mm-hmm. and so all this is happening mm-hmm. when they are fighting so that mm-hmm. some fellows are injured so he he told he stopped all these fellows and said his what are you doing you are a, you are all you are all people of the same area and you are fighting with each other in the uh, you are because of all wicked behavior so everybody of you you are you are you are making all wicked things you see you have killed the children of the cows so now what is happening that you are fighting and then if you are killed or your children will be killed then all of these fellows came to him and said please excuse us and and please save us and this new person when with his bamboo stick he was hitting on the on the floor then there were all the people could listen the music a wonderful music of flute and veena and all these things in the space and then all of these fellows were, were surprised and the, and he said if you are continuing this type of activity all your families will be destroyed you are destroying each other because you, you are you have misbehaved with the cows you have misbehaved with the peaceful people of all the braja and all these people so because of this all your families will be destroyed if you are doing like this mm-hmm. 
этими коровами, телятами, вы ужасно себя ведете друг с другом, и в результате этого все ваши семьи погибнут. So these people said, we want to be saved because we were like this because of our rulers of Kamsa and KC because of this. So then this man said, why you have stolen all the um, cows and all these grains and all these from the villages where there are people who are li living peacefully and who are not commercial at all and you are misbehaving with the, those people. So if your children also will die would you like that they are also stuffed with cotton and stood before you, like this? <laughs> so, then these people are scared, said, no, 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 we want to be saved. <laughs> then this person <clears throat> materialized flowers from the trees, and threw these flowers on these dead calves, these cows, uh, the small cows, dead calves, and then they came to life once again. All these, uh, which are dead and stuffed with straw and cotton, and he, he has thrown all these flowers on them, and immediately they came to life and they went to their mother's cows, mm -hmm. and the cows were very happy. <laughs> then all these fellows were surprised and then they can realize what they were doing and they surrendered to him, prostrated before him and they requested him that they should be excused and saved from all these wicked things. Then he told them, you go to Nandagopa, you don't, you need not work with Kamsar, you need not work with uh, Kesi, you go to Vraj and you go to Nandagopa. You return all the cows, they belong to their, those villages. And you also go on, stay there and peacefully and work for them. Why you are working with these wicked fellows? And you are, you are also behaving so wickedly, so you will be destroyed. They are going to be destroyed because Lord is coming. So if you can return and you can live with Nandagopa and those people, you will be saved, otherwise if you work with these fellows, you are also will be destroyed. So these people, he, they followed his instruction and they asked him, who are you? So suddenly who you came and you have brought life to these uh, calves of the cows and you have instructed us, you have saved us. So he said, it is not important to know who I am. But first of all, you go and surrender yourself to Nandagopa. <laughs> so this person is Sanat Kumara. <laughs> 
So he manifested himself to stop all this and to and to bring a change to the people. So all the cows, all these people, they went to the Vraja, to Vrindavan and all the, and all the Vraja villages and then they joined <coughs> all this group of Nandagopa to follow the instruction of Vasudeva. <laughs> So this is this is how all the situations are there when the pregnancy of uh, Devaki is uh, is approaching to um, advancing. So every day, one day Narada and another day another Rishi, they they were visiting Devaki and Vasudeva in the prison. And also Selaputri, the the Selaputri who has the, who is the goddess in Himalayas, the mother goddess. She is, she is no other than Parvati, wife of Shiva. So she also manifested in the prison and she also blessed Vasudeva and Devaki. So all of them, they told Devaki and Vasudeva that their, their child who is coming, coming, he will be, he is the Lord who is incarnating and he will be, he will destroy all these demonic forces and re-establish the law. And she informed <coughs> Vasudeva that she has sent her power to be born from the womb of uh, another, uh, the wife of Nandagopa, Yashoda. Yashoda. So all this is the divine plan was was explained to Devaki and Vasudeva. And Narada has given the mantra of Dvadasakshari. Dvadasakshari mantra means Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. This mantra he has given to Vasudeva and instructed him to keep on meditating on this mantra. It is called Dvadas Akshari because this mantra, there are 12, 12 letters in this mantra. Dvadas Akshari. Dvadas means 12. Dvadas. Ashtakshari is eight, le- eight syllables. Om Namo Narayana is Ashtakshari. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva is Dwarasakshari. Narayana is Ashtakshari. Is eight letters. Om Namo Narayana is Ashtakshari. That means eight letters. And Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva is Dwarasakshari. Twelve letters. So these twelve letters of this mantra, they are corresponding to the twelve signs of the zodiac. So 
So therefore, he asked, he, he instructed uh, Vasudeva to continuously keep meditating on this mantra. Because the Lord, coming, incarnating Lord is, he will be called Vasudeva. So, <coughs> the both husband and wife, Devaki and Vasudeva, they were continuously meditating, they were, they were always in that meditating mood. So, they are mostly in the, <coughs> their, their consciousness is mostly in that and everything is automatically, for example, uh, because that is a royal prison, so every day there, there are many of the servants who come, who clean and who change the beds, who clean, who do all these things, who bring food, everything. So everything is provided except that they are in the prison. So all this is going on, but Devaka and Vasudeva are always in that higher consciousness. So whether they have taken the shower or not, whether they have taken the food or not, they are not conscious, but automatically everything is going on. And so now, since it is the eighth pregnancy of Devaki, so Kamsa made very, very, very tight security and all these things, so that he wants to make sure that Vasudeva will not escape or will not make the child escape from here. <laughs> so, he has appointed the guards for the prison who have to open the doors uh, when, when they bring the food or when somebody comes to open the doors and the keys of the doors are not with them. Again, they have to go to the higher officers. They hold the keys. So, these officers will be very vigilant. <laughs> so, such an arrangement he made to, to, to make sure that no, no escape will be there. <laughs> <laughs> and this Nandagopa and uh, the others who are who who are who also know all this, they are also from their side, they are trying to make arrangements to 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 influence these guards and uh, so that these guards will cooperate with them in opening the doors and all this. So therefore, from time to time, they are uh, in contact with the guards and give, and sending them some gifts and with all this. <laughs> Yes. 
<laughs> so in these villages, what happened is, uh, after these incidents uh, of this uh, Madhavan, in these villages, when if the if the guards or if the officers of KC or the officers of Kamsa will enter into these villages to 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 grab the cows or to grab the riches, then they started to resist them and to fight with them and not to obey them anymore. And uh, what Vasudeva instructed to them is that if they accept to uh, to merge with them to stop this activity and work with Kamsa and KC, if they accept to be one with them, to allow them to, 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 to be with them, or if they insist, and if they want to insist and they want to create disturbance, then if necessary to fight with them, and if, if, if absolutely necessary, to kill them. If they are very cruel, to kill them, but not to waste, to put them in the prison and to feed them is, the, is not the process. If few of them are killed, then others will surrender. So, as the time is approaching for, for the delivery of Devaki, this Kamsa fellow become more and more restless because he has fear. He is very much afraid he is not able to sleep. <laughs> So one day he was thinking he was not he not even attending the court of the king because his mind is occupied. The time is approaching, so if really this child who is going to be born will kill me, so he is he has a fear. So therefore he is thinking and thinking and one day he he approached Mondakausika, this tantric fellow. <laughs> Actually, he can, he wanted to ask the help of his father-in-law Jarasandha, because Jarasandha's guru Chandakausika is the very great uh, uh, this tantric uh, guru. So, but he is afraid of his father-in-law Jarasandha because Jarasandha is very angry. And Jarasandha says, "Why do you fear about a, a child being born? How can he kill you? You are all, you are so much afraid, and you are being a king." And he has so much of uh, fear of, about this, so he doesn't uh, support this. Therefore, this fellow is afraid to approach Jarasandha. <laughs> Uh, 
обратиться к отцу Джанасан Хири, он обратился вот к этому второму его ученику. Because Jarasandha, he says that you, you, how, you, how timid you are, because he says you should not be timid like this, you should, should not have fear like this. So Jarasandha, he, so therefore he never encourages Kamsa to do all this uh, type of wicked things. So Kamsa is afraid and Kamsa's wives who are daughters of Jarasandha, They are also angry. They were telling her, their husband, why you are doing all these things? Why you are afraid of this? Because this Kamsa has killed six children of Devaki, no? Before that. So Jarasandha say, Jarasandha says, why do you kill the children? Do you do you mean the children? Children will kill you? <laughs> So that is why Kamsa was afraid to approach Jarasandha or Chandakausika. So he approached Mundakausika. <laughs> Mundakausika. So he asked this, this fellow, Can you help me in creating uh, some pishachas or some uh, elemental entities so that I can use them to send them to this boy who is going to be born to kill him? <laughs> So, this Chandaka, this Mondakavasika said, you, he has given him a plan because this Chandakavasika, the Guru, is going to give uh, a special siddhi to, this, to his disciple Mondakavasika in this tantric uh, witchcraft. So for for this witchcraft, this is this is also an, a type of application from the Adharva mantras, Adharva Veda. So in this witchcraft, they have to do certain things in the in the burial ground, in the where where there is uh, the people who are dead, they are burned. So in, they have to do such rituals in that place. <laughs> So, <laughs> you see the the normal rituals, the rituals of the white magic, they are they are performed in the temples and holy places and during daytime and these rituals they are performed at that places in the night time, midnight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore, <coughs> this fellow, uh, Mundakausika, he, he has instructed Kamsa, you bring such and such things uh, for, to make this ritual, which is my guru is coming and 
he is he is going to perform and so this kamsa has arranged he has to bring according to you know zodiac sign you have the aries so he has to bring the head of a ram and taurus he has to bring the head of a bull <laughs> and gemini he has to bring the children one male child and one female child from royal family <laughs> without <laughs> all these things <laughs> <laughs> so this Chandakausika, he 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 makes the image of a human body uh, on the ground, and so he has to arrange all this according to this zodiacal signs, and so. So, uh, some scorpions to put in the place of Scorpio, and some crabs, uh, and uh, so like this, all these uh, beings, and then he has to bring. You know, in the normal ritual, we use ghee. In the ritual, we use uh, herbs. So, in the ritual, in this ritual, they don't use ghee. They use the fat of a python. You know, big, uh, very big uh, python. Uh, so, the fat of this python is used as a fuel. <laughs> And also, a pot full of alcohol. <laughs> so all this is uh, instructed to Kamsa to bring. So Chandakausika, <laughs> when he he, he died. He, st- he made all this eh? and Kamsa, he told Kamsa, see you are, you are not a perfect fellow, you are not, uh, so even, even in this type of uh, witchcraft also, they, fo- they follow uh, a, a, a great discipline. He said, you are not disciplined, therefore you are not fit to receive these powers. <laughs> <laughs> and he said he said the 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 alcohol which you brought uh, if you are not pure and if you brought if you have taken some part of it which is going to be put in the in the in this ritual so the result is in 12 years you will be killed <laughs> <laughs> so it is really while while bringing this a part of it he was drinking because he is very uh, always addicted to alcohol and all these things you know. <laughs> 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 so 
So exactly after 12 years he was killed by Krishna. <laughs> so all these things, uh, they were in the mind of this Kamsa so that he was restless and he was fearful of all these things. <laughs> so from time to time he went to the prison and he went into the room in the hall where Devaki and Vasudeva are there and observe them if they are doing any special things to escape. <laughs> <laughs> because of his because of the fear he suspects that if Vasudeva is doing uh, some type of uh, witchcraft to escape from here <laughs> and also he he suspected his officers if they are influenced by Vasudeva so he changed the guards, he changed the officers. <laughs> he has so much of fear. <laughs> so finally, the time approached that the the child will be delivered and that was in the night and before so before this few since few days before as I told you Vasudeva and Devaki they were completely absorbed in doing this mantra of Vasudeva mantra and all these mantras and they were in in a higher consciousness completely. So there are <coughs> all the rishis in Himalayas, they are constantly doing the rituals. Uh, for the descent of the Lord and then in in uh, in Sravana month Sravana month means in the in the month of that is the Sravana is one of the month in this monsoon season in the monsoon it is monsoon and uh, on the eighth day of that means Ashtami Ashtami is the eighth phase moon phase of this month lunar month so on this Ashtami day that is a very wonderful uh, combination of all the constellations and that uh, night and that is the day of fulfillment for the for all that uh, what Devaki and Vasudeva are doing all this ma Vasudeva mantra And that night, the the Lord of the universe, he made himself a vision to them, to both of them. A grand vision. There itself, in the prison itself. And he, he told them that he is going to be born as their son and 
and he told them that <coughs> he is he is he is uh, he has blessed them to be his parents in this incarnation so it is to be the parents of the lord descending lord is a very you know that that the fitness to be the parents is very important so <coughs> and so then he explained them who who were they and how they got this fitness to be the parents who were they before and all these things they have he has explained them yes yes so he instructed them he instructed vasudeva that after the delivery this he has vasudeva has to take him to the house of nandagopa where the wife of nandagopa eshoda also will deliver a child a female child and he instructed vasudeva to keep this child there and bring that child here so just one day before kamsa has appointed new guards and new officers <laughs> and made a very tight security to the prison <laughs> and in the <coughs> when when the night is when the midnight is approaching before that suddenly there were very big clouds and very big rain and very strong winds blowing and with, when the officers came to open the door so that they have to keep the food and inside and come back to lock it back it was so difficult for them to close the doors and lock it <laughs> <laughs> and then um, <coughs> all the no no they are, they were having the lights no the the glowing lights all these lights are gone because of this wind and uh, and this <laughs> so he, <laughs> in the in the darkness with great difficulty they have closed up the doors tightly and then they put the lock and 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 these keys were taken by the officers and these officers will not be here so they go home and they told these fellows the guards in the night if this lady delivers you immediately inform us and then we will inform kamsa he will come So 
సో ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ అట్ మిడ్ నైట్ దేవకి డెలివర్ ది చైల్డ్ అండ్ సో షీ వాజ్ సో హ్యాపీ దిస్ గ్లోరియస్ చైల్డ్ ద లార్డ్ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ హ్యాజ్ ఎ చైల్డ్ and as soon as this child came out of the womb this big uh, vision of the lord what they are seeing that light came and entered into the child <coughs> and meanwhile this person who has saved all these cows and cow children is sanat kumara he was waiting outside and then he when he came he has seen that these fellows when they were locking the door one fellow uh, was he- holding this and one fellow was locking in this they did not see that they have not locked this properly so this is not locked the door was not locked so sanat kumara he could easily enter and he has he has cut the umbilical and this sanat kumara when he came to the and then devaki she breastfed the child and then devaki was the baby arranged in a basket all the cushions and all these things and he put the child in the basket and then <coughs> when he he walked out of the prison all the guards are sleeping <laughs> <laughs> nobody is there because it is terribly raining and very cold like now <laughs> in the midnight is it dark and vasudeva he was like in trance he he did not uh, he is not uh, 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 he did not uh, uh, feel anything of this rain or darkness and all these things so he kept he kept the basket and covered it with the cloth and then he started to walk and then he has to cross the river yamuna Yamuna is full in the flood. <laughs> But what happened he doesn't know he is he started to walk into the river and he crossed the river. and he reached the other shore of it and then he reached the house of nanda gopa there also everybody is sleeping only the cows are awake <laughs> and so <coughs> then he entered the house and there he has seen a, a a room and he could understand that this is the room of 
maternity where the for delivery you know while he was walking after crossing the river while he was walking through the village path there was rain heavy rain but the rain did not fall on the child because there was a big snake of five heads following like an umbrella behind him <laughs> so he entered the house and he entered into the room and he has seen on the bed the wife of Nandagopa is Yashoda was sleeping and besides her there is the delivered child is there so he placed his son in that place and he has taken that little girl the child again the basket and a returned and again while coming the snake was behind him and he crossed the river how he has crossed how he has walked he has no idea because he is in the trance So he came to senses only after once again he entered the prison hall. <laughs> and he gave this child to devaki and outside sanat kumara when he was waiting so he when he closed the door and out from outside sanat kumara closed the door as as before mm-hmm. and went away <laughs> then the rain stopped <laughs> and the child started to cry and the guards were awake <laughs> and they were running to the officers <laughs> they called the officers and the officers came and opening the door they found that oh, it is not locked and they were shocked <laughs> they kept silent otherwise they will be punished by <laughs> so they acted as if they are they have unlocked the doors and they asked the guards to bring the lights and they have seen the child and they found that it is a female child <laughs> and they they said kamsa is afraid of this female child what she can do <laughs> so then he went and informed kamsa and he came running and when he came and he has seen the child he was surprised it is a female child but what the celestial voice told him is the eighth child the son he will kill he will kill you but it is not a, a son it is a female child 
сказал, восьмой сын его убьют, но это не сын, это девочка. But even then, he decided to kill this child. And uh, Devaki, he requested him, my dear brother, this is a female child I have delivered. So how you can, how you, you want to kill, she is not going to do any harm to you. But she, he said, no, I have to kill the child. So forcibly he has taken the child into his hands and he has thrown her up, keeping his sword like this. Expecting that the child will be cut, torn into pieces. But there was a big lightning. And there was... And there was a bright light. And in the midst of this light, there is this goddess Durga standing with all, his, all her arms and all the weapons. And she told this fellow, you fellow, now that <coughs> the Lord has already incarnated and he will, you wait for your day, he will come and kill you and you, all your wicked acts cannot continue. All, every, it is then you will be, you will see your end, wait for that moment, mm -hmm. and then she disappeared. So Kamsa fellow was stunned. He was scared, stunned. He, he asked Vasudeva, tell me the truth, what has happened? Vasudeva said, my wife has delivered the child. And you came. Nothing like, more than this. <laughs> so then Kamsa, he did not for a, for a few moments, and then again, so he said, I, he told Vasudeva that, you see, all these twelve years, all these years, uh, I have, I have uh, kept you, of course, here in, in the prison, but I made all comforts to you, but still, you have cheated me. <laughs> He was very <laughs> angry. <laughs> so finally he once again instructed his officers to lock the prison. And he went back very restless. And then he called Akrura <laughs> because he appointed Akrura as his, as his advisor and minister. And told him what has happened. And then he told his proposal to Akrura that uh, he will he will instruct that all the newborn children in this area should be killed. 
<laughs> because he was thinking that the child has escaped from the prison. So before the child could go uh, for a longer distance, before that, in this whole area, to send his uh, his men to to search and find out who are newly born and to kill them all. Then Akrura said, already you have killed some children, again you want to kill so many children, it is foolish. Because the child immediately cannot come and kill you. <laughs> so it takes some years for the child to grow up, meanwhile you have much time, why you are worried? So it is not wise for you to to kill all the children who are born. <laughs> but Kamsa was not convinced. So meanwhile, the next morning at in in the in the house of Nandagopa there was very big, wonderful. Uh, gathering of people and they are very happy. They have seen the child, this boy. <laughs> so all the people from the surrounding villages of Vraja, they came to Nandagopal's house to see this boy because everybody got the message that Yashoda has delivered a boy. And uh, these, these men of this village, some of them previous day said, Nantakopa, you will have a daughter because there is, uh, astrologically we could know that you will get a daughter. But Nantakopa said, I know I will get a son. But in the night when she delivered, only <coughs> the lady who conducted the delivery, she could she has, she knows that she has delivered a female child. So afterwards everybody first informed that she has delivered a female child. And when they came and see it is a male child, so nobody can understand how it is possible. Because everybody, including uh, including Yashoda, everybody all were sleeping when uh, Vasudeva exchanged the child. <laughs> So, it is a mystery for everybody that, uh, so everybody was thinking that she delivered a female child, but in the morning when uh, everybody came and they have seen the male child, so they could not understand what has happened, so they said, oh, somebody has mistaken or somebody... <laughs> So, 
so all these ladies gathered and they made a wonderful uh, you know when uh, when when a child like uh, is, is born and especially yashoda is the wife of nandagopa the chief so all of them they came to their house and uh, they put uh, sandal paste for the child and they made bath for the child and the child was taken from one hand to other hand everybody was enchanted to see the child <laughs> So all these people of all these five hundred villages of Braja, so all of them they gathered here in this village, uh, Gokul. This village is called Gokul, in Gokul, and the house of Nanda. And so it was like a festival that everybody coming and seeing the child and all. So it was continuously like a festival. <laughs> So all the men, all the men, all the women, everybody has taken the child to their hand, and when they touched the child, they felt enchanted and celestial uh, uh, experience. <laughs> So meanwhile, Kamsa, he is in the worst condition. He was. <laughs> he, he could not understand where this uh, where this child has gone now. <laughs> <laughs> so he finally he thought that because some of the uh, witchcraft uh, to produce this pishachas that was that was initiated he was initiated by Mundakausika. Mundakausika has transferred transformed him also. <laughs> So therefore, he thought it is the only way that I should use <coughs> this to destroy the child wherever he is. So, according to this procedure given by this Mundakausika, So he brought a lady, made her to sit in meditation, made her to sit and close her eyes, <coughs> and then he used this, he, he invoked this pisacha, this demonic force. So this pisacha is called putana. So this was given by Chandakausika, this force, this power. Mundakausika. Mundakausika. So while while initiating Kamsa, he told him, you can use them only once. Afterwards they will not be under your control. <laughs> So he, when he invoked this with those mantras, then there was a big female structure uh, standing behind this lady, mm -hmm. and this she was uh, <coughs> she was very ghastly in, the, in her appearance, 
and this Kamsa instructed her that you descend into this lady and you go into the Vraja area and search and find out the child and kill him and come back to inform me. So this she she speaks through this lady because she this is an elemental. So she, she entered this lady and then she spoke that <coughs> So she said, I will go around and I will, wherever I find a child, I will kill the child, mm -hmm. but I will not come back to you to inform you, because you have no control on me, only, only you can send me and you have no control after that. Mm -hmm. So I am not obliged to come back to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this lady, because this lady was, uh, there is a descent of this Pisacha into this lady, so she is no more normal lady. So she was a normal lady before. And then Putana, she was, she was, uh, uh, Putana has descended into her and so therefore she started from there and wherever there is a newly born child, when she enters the house and touches the child, the child will be dead. So then, she next day, she came to Gokul. She came to know that there is a very wonderful child was born and in the house of Nandagop, Gandagopal, uh, Nandagopa, and therefore she was attracted there to go. That was during daytime where all the, every day many women were coming to this house to enjoy the child, to, to take the child into their arms. So, this is continuously going on. So, she also is attracted there. So before going there, she went to a, a place where in, inside the snakes live and then they put her hand, she put her hand, took one very dangerous snake, took the poison of the snake and put it on her breast. And then she entered, she joined the ladies who are going to the house of Nandagop. Uh. And nobody suspected her because she is appearance she is very as a beautiful tender lady. So Yashoda 
uh, and also the old lady who is there to assist her. So they, they did not refuse any lady when any lady wanted to take this boy. So everybody can have this presence of this boy. So they were giving this boy without any uh, difficulty to any lady. So like that, this, this lady entered there. So when Putana, this lady entered the house, then the child started to cry very loudly. <laughs> and uh, Yashoda tried to pacify the, the, the child. Every lady tried to pacify the child, but he was not pacified. He was, he was very much making noise and screaming. And when this lady took the child, then he became silent. <laughs> And everybody is surprised because they have not seen this lady before in this village. Because in, generally in the villages, most of the families they know each other, so it, they could they could see this is a new lady never seen before. But this child is when as soon as he was taken by this lady, he was joyful and laughing. <laughs> And the child is acting as if he wanted to have breastfeeding from her. And milk started to come out from her breast. And uh, Eshoda and others, they could not refuse. They could not. And then this lady started to feed him with her breast. He started to suck the milk. And in a few minutes then, this lady was... Uh, she was feeling some strange thing. So what is happening, she couldn't know. And she felt as if all her life force is being withdrawn. And all the ladies around her are seeing at this, but they are they don't know what is happening. Within a few minutes, there is a huge screaming. And this lady fell on the ground. And this Putana, the Pishacha, the astral being, appeared there with very terrible form. And all the ladies were very much scared. But in a few minutes, this astral structure disappeared. And the lady fell on the ground, she is dead. And the child is playing on her breast. And with great fear, Yashoda and the ladies took the child back. And meanwhile, Nandagopa and all the men came. 
and they were also surprised for what has happened. So then <coughs> there is a priest of all these people gar called Garga. So he came there and then he told them that this lady is taken by this Pisacha, Pisachi that is Potana. She was sent by Kamsa to kill the boy. But this Pisacha, this the power of this demon was destroyed by the by the time when she touched this child. And because this lady is empowered by the Pisacha, therefore she died. So he said he Garga told these people that you make you you can burn this body of this lady because she has given her breast to this child she is also like a mother for him so she by the touch of the child she she was elevated and she will reach the highest uh, plane of consciousness And when the body of this lady was put on fire, when it is burnt, all this area is filled with wonderful fragrance of sandal and all this, that celestial fragrance. <laughs> so the first attempt of Kamsa failed. <laughs> But he couldn't know whether whether the whether this Potana could kill the child or not. He couldn't know because there this she already told that she will not come back to him. <laughs> so. He, he, he used his men to go and have the information and after a few days he could know that uh, uh, some lady died uh, in the, uh, here and so he could not understand whether it is Potana or not. So he is more afraid that whether this child is alive or child is dead, he is not sure. And here in this village, this Nandagopa, Yashoda and all the other ladies and all the other people, when they are afraid, and Garga said, nothing to be afraid, no, no force can destroy this child. <laughs> And so he made a, a, a ritual and then he, he has blessed the child also. And he knows that this child is not a normal child, it is because he is also one of the rishis. And so he knows. So 
So, like this, every day, there are many people are attracted to the house of Nandagopa and Yashoda. Everybody coming from many villages, pouring into his, his house every day, visitors and visitors to see this child. Because the, this news of this child is spreading. <laughs> So, Shatagopan, his wife, and also their daughter Radha, every day they are always, almost here only. <laughs> and now Kamsa is thinking to, to send another one Pisacha to to destroy the child. Because Chandakausika has, Mundakausika has given to certain powers to this uh, Kamsa to use some of the Pisachas. But he told, while giving this, he told Kamsa, don't misuse this and only once you can uh, use this, but only absolutely when you have danger only, then use this like this. But this fellow is always afraid. So now, <coughs> on the tenth day of, from the from the day of the birth on tenth day, there will be a ritual to give a name to the child. Vasudeva. Vasudeva. <laughs> Vasudeva. <laughs>